Welcome back to Midlife Vibes, you guys. We are here in Ghost Town at Knott's Berry Farm, California. This is the first theme park to actually open up. Kind of, sort of. No rights, no rights. Yeah, it hasn't totally opened up, but they did open up Ghost Town to have a special food event that we have a lanyard for, and we'll be talking about that in just a minute. So kind of excited for being back inside Knott's Berry Farm. I'm looking forward to it. And if you notice, we got Southwestern themed yeah. masks for the yeah. Taste of Calico. So we're kind of in our vibe right now. And we're so happy to be able to come and show you guys what they have to offer. It is on next weekend as well. Uh, it's only $25 to buy a lanyard. You can buy that online. And I think it gives you five food tastings. And they're going to have food and drinks and it's gonna be a hoedown. Well, let's get into it. Tough part about this is deciding what you wanna get. You get five tastings off of this card. Obviously, we're gonna have to get a little bit more. Well, we could share. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna share. And then we also have to get some adult beverages, the boysenberry cider, boysenberry beer boysenberry wine, boysenberry everything. I think we need to go to... Should we go in order? Well, no, there's all these, there's so many places. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to sit here and decide and we'll let you know when we figure it out. So one of the things that I really like and that I noticed immediately is that they put extra tables out since the park's not open. They have tables all along the side of the walkway so you can find somewhere to sit and eat. You know, a lot of times when we do these food festivals, you're doing a lot of standing and eating. So I do notice that they put additional seating out. They also have like the games out, the blacksmith is still open, the shops are open. So this is gonna be fun. They also put out hand sanitizer stations throughout the ghost town here. Cause you know, we gotta keep our hands sanitized. We're gonna be touching a lot of things today that we need to make sure we're clean. I'm excited. For our first stop, you guys, we came to Fireman's Grill which is um, our go-to barbecue place when the park is open, right? Baby, you can take off your mask. We're I like having my mask on. I feel very safe with it on. We're not by anybody, and we're eating all by our lonesome in a whole... Little nook and cranny over nook here. Nook and cranny. So, you guys, can you guys see my lipstick? Yeah. So we I got the uh, boysenberry sausage. It came with some boysenberry sauce and some mustard on the side. And then we also got the basil lemonade, which I'm kind of interested It's I'm kind of interesting. I'm interested in trying it because um, it just the flavors seem to be that they seem like they're gonna go good together. I guess she's gonna drink it now. Taste it. Take off your mask. I. Here we go, guys. Hey, there's something. The basil, probably. I like that actually. That's actually pretty good. I think it needs a little more, a little um, more sugar. It's yeah. a simple syrup. I'm gonna dive right in. Okay, let's do it. The awesome. sausage is super yummy. Like, mm. you have that grill flavor which you get when you get barbecue at Knott's. It's the fireman's grill flavor. Because you get that flavor. smoky grill flavor which is super yummy, and I love that flavor so much. Mmm, so good. Susan, I bit into it. I thought not very from ribs. Yeah, so this is definitely, the mm. first one's a winner for sure. That's really good. That is so delicious. So good, so good. I'm happy. I can go home now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to stay here for a while. If we have to look forward to the rest of the tasting, I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. And mm. I love that basil flavor in the lemonade. I really like that. The toughest part is going to be deciding on what we eat next. Okay, so this is a two thumbs up, and uh, they toasted the bread good. So we went to Wilderness Broiler. We went straight for the pastrami sandwich. Pastrami, pastrami sandwich. sandwich on a pretzel bun with boysenberry uh, mustard. And what else has it got? And a side of chips, you guys. So I'm interested about the boysenberry mustard. I'm not, you know. It would have been nice if they would have given her some vinegar for the chips. Yeah. Yeah, ooh, a little salt and vinegar chips, huh? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, you spray them with vinegar, or dip them in vinegar. Okay, yeah. so but that these, is these aren't cut. No, these aren't no regular chips. These are some thick, Let's... I was gonna say thick, you know what chips. <laughs> these are some thick chips. <laughs> Ready? Mmm. Yeah, that was a good chip. That was a good chip. That's a good chip. All right. 
Oh, cheers? this is going to be fun. Do you want to do cheers? Cheers. Here we go. Taste the mustard. Is there supposed to be boysenberry on this? I was going to say the same thing. It's supposed to be a boysenberry mustard and... Oh, I can't taste the boysenberry I don't taste any boysenberry. I taste the mustard. I taste the pastrami. Pretzel bun's not completely hot. It's kind of like um, a little cold. So I think if the pretzel bun was really hot, warm, and if I could taste the boysenberry, it'd be a win. I mean, I like pastrami with mustard, but... So I think that pastrami is good. It's very flavorful. It's not overpowering. I agree with Josh. I think the bun should be warm. And the mustard tastes like a um, brown mustard. It's, it tastes like a strong brown mustard, but you can't taste a boysenberry. That's the only miss on it, but it's a good sandwich. It's just, a good little sandwich. Just needs a warm bun and more boysenberry. It's so nice here, you guys. We're in the shade. There's a really nice breeze coming through, and we're sitting across from the shooting gallery and the restaurant, so I can just look over and see all the pretty flowers and the people walking by. This was a scary fog zone during oh, Not yeah. Scary Farm right here. Not Scary Farm. It was scary to be here. Yeah. I don't think Not Scary Farm's going to happen this year. It might, but I don't know. I want you to get my best side, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. I know. I know. In fact, are you with these people over here? Would you like to be? Let's all do that. Everyone turn away from him. Turn that way. And when I count to three, look over your right shoulder. Ready? One, two, three, yes! <laughs> oh, give yourselves a big, what is that called when you do that? How are you today? I'm not sure where Becky went, but uh, you want to escort me around today? Because you're looking kind of cute right now. Uh-oh, I think, I think I see her. I think, I think she's coming. I swear I wasn't talking to her. I swear. I was hoping she'd take you. Oh, what? Leave the wallet, of course. Oh my God. I guess this is a silent film, guys. ID, check. <laughs> well, we're in the saloon. It was silent back then. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't even think they had video back then. No. It was like, you know what this means, don't you? Boysenberry cider. Babe, I think we finally found a nice, cool spot to enjoy a nice, refreshing beverage. Or multiple beverages, I guess you could say. Two times two equals... equals... Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot, there's a, we're in a shady area, like a little corner of shade, and the breeze is really nice. And to the left of me is a water fountain, a big one, so you can hear the water and the music. It's just so relaxing. One thing that I love, baby, is that they have all these little entertainment things going on throughout the park. I'm having a really Super good awesome. time. Is it because of the boysenberry cider? No, it's just, Or is it because of me? Or is it because of him? It's because of you and just the music, the atmosphere, the breeze. And it, it feels very safe. Yeah, very, very spacious. safe. Very spacious. A lot of room, they a lot did of room. a really good job. Good the, job, Knott's Berry Farm, good the, job. The social distancing is awesome here. Oh, but they got something going on over here. I'm not sure what booth this is, but it's drinks. Oh, it's boysenberry ices or lemonades. Is, We're gonna have to like look. they have a little boysenberry muffin. It's like a muffin, oh, it's the chili. We just saw that this is the chili line, so we are going over to it right now because this is something we heard was super duper delicious. Since the last time we saw you guys, we have been in a line for almost an hour. Long, long, long. I, I have line. to say one thing about the taste of Calico is it looks like the lines are super long. And you would think though for a steak chili, that should be easy to prepare and serve, but it was so we're, slow. We are both logistics people. Yeah. So I had to go and see what yeah. the heck is taking this so long. They're not scooping the chili until you walk up, you order it, and the guy tells them to scoop chili. Yeah. But your only option is to get chili there. Yeah. And so the we, line is super long, yeah. so an, it, efficient, it, an efficient way to do it would be you can scoop three or four bowls and push them aside, and then when the people come up, just plop the cornbread in there and the onions yeah. because the, there's that many people yeah. that you can go really fast and it wouldn't go cold on Yeah, you. and so we have the steak chili with boysenberry. Um, it comes with a cornbread muffin. Uh, we each got it because we're super hungry after waiting in that long, long line. 
which is, get out of my chili. They get give you out more of onion. get out of my chili. <laughs> and um, we got sangrias to go with it, which I'm sure is super good. But we got to we got to try this. And there's boysenberry in the muffin, right? There's boysen. Oh, it's a boysenberry muffin. That's what it's steak chili with a boysenberry muffin. Let me let me cut the. There's muffin. There's no boysenberry in, in the chili. It's in the muffin. Is that what it is? Okay. I, 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 after an hour, I have to eat this. I think chili's good. It's good. That's it? really good. It's good. But now, I need a... <coughs> what is that Sorry, about? Sorry, wrong pipe. I'm going to try the cornbread muffin now. Oh yeah, boys make a cornbread muffin. That's a that's, winner. That's good with butter for breakfast. Oh yeah, that's good. That that. Okay. Mmm, that so, is really. I'm gonna buy the. Definitely muffin the corn. Now. The, the cornbread muffin. The boysenberry cornbread muffin was good. And that was the winner in this I dish. I think the shops offer the mix. Uh, yeah, I think the um, the chili is good, but the boysenberry muffin is the winner for sure for me. Maybe that that is that is what chili. I'm talking about is good. Especially if we get that steak, a big chunk of steak. I just got a nice fatty piece of steak. Very oh, good. that was good, you guys. Nice fatty piece Very of steak. Good. So good. Really enjoyed it. But you know what? Now I'm gonna do because my muffin is in my chili. I'm gonna get a scoop of chili with cornbread muffin. The chili is really good. So I don't recommend that. I recommend you eat the muffin <laughs> by itself. Don't. Don't eat the chili and the muffin together. Even though they put it on top of the chili, eat it separate. Because it's sweet in. Now, I don't know if this is worth an hour wait, but it is good. I, I mean, if I'm just saying I walked up and got the food, it's yummy. It, it's probably one of the better things that we've gotten so far today, I think. For sure. Gonna drink the sangria. That's like juice. That's like, 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 that's dangerous. That is dangerous. If there's alcohol in there, that is dangerous. It's like a Costco sangria. Yeah, you can just get, you you can do some damage with that. You, you'll you be drinking it and you have no idea how much you drank until it's too late, people. That's good. Oh, that is good. So we're this gonna finish. This is really good though. Yeah, we're gonna finish off our chili. And then I think we're gonna head over to, um, what are we gonna head over? Sutter's Grill. And I'm gonna, we're gonna get the uh, pulled pork sliders, the mac and cheese bites. And the boysenberry barbecue wings. Three, three in one spot. Yes. I think that's what we're gonna do. So, cheers to me. Mm. Hi. What Look is at up? Thank you. We got the yummies. Thank you. But guess what? What? I brought you some yummies. Uh oh. Yummies? Yummies. Mm. What do we got? Do, 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 Cookies. I'm doing, I'm doing love and cookies. marriage on Jeopardy at yeah, the same time. Yeah, I don't time. know. Like, it's like love and marriage on I'm Jeopardy. I'm like, am I doing a married with children or what's going on? Oh, that's your, there you oh, go. Oh, you got the churros. Married with children and you went and Jeopardy. Wait in the, you went and waited in line and got the churros. There was no line. Nice. There was no line when I came out of the saloon, but you only get one. But you stuffed, you got rid of your card. It's the mini stuffed churro. Oh, nice. And I want you to try it first. No, I want you to try it Look first. Look at this. It has like boysenberry sugar on Ooh, it. We got to keep moving. And then I got the end and then this one has stuff in it. Nice. It's warm still too. Now this mini stuff churro, you can get it over at where? Outside of the saloon where the Cheeto place at. And that place is called the Gourmet Churro Factory. <laughs> not too happy. Your face does not show happiness right now. Well, it's like very bready. Like oh. thick and bready. It's not like your normal chudo, but I guess I have to make it thicker for this. Here, let me put your mask down. Here we go. It's very bready. I want to see you. But it's yummy, too. Mm-hmm. The flavors are good, but uh, it's too much bread, though. It's too much bread, right? It's not like you're, like you're, when you're expecting the chudo, you're expecting that flaky, crispy dough. Mm-hmm. And this is a very, very thick, the flavors are good. You don't taste the cinnamon. I hate to say this, not spray from I like Disneyland churro better. Yeah. I love Disneyland chudos are better. You can't taste the cinnamon on here at all. Yeah. And it's bready. It's good. I like the boysenberry filling. Sutter's Grill, we got the pork, pulled pork sliders 
which actually look delicious. They got little crispy onions on them and they come with a side of french fries. We got the mac and cheese bites with french fries. So we got a lot of french fries and we got the mac and cheese bites, which come with a sriracha ketchup. We also got the boysenberry barbecue wings, which I remember from the last boysenberry food and wine and they were delicious, but they were cooked right on a grill in front of you. Um, this one came from a uh, Sutter's Grill, so I'm not sure how they're cooked, but we'll see. And then we also got the samosas with um, a boysenberry chutney, which actually look, they're deep fried. It's a vegetarian uh, dish. I don't think it's vegan, I think it's vegetarian. But all of it actually looks really good, so I'm kind of excited about it. First, we're gonna start off with the mac and cheese bites. Did you try a mac? No, I want, no, I want to try a mac and cheese bite first. And the ketchup has the boysenberry. Oh, well, they're well, really hot. Kind of plain. They need some salt. But we're about to dip it in a sriracha and ketchup. Oh, sriracha and ketchup is good. You gotta dip it. You gotta dip it. They Try don't need salt. I mean, it's mac and cheese. It's, it's good. No, it needs it needs salt. It needs it needs the mac and cheese. It needs the ketchup. Is the ketchup spicy? It's sriracha. Mmm. Oh, good. Yeah. I love it with the sriracha. That's really good. Mm. Very cheesy. You have the last one. Oh, look it. It's squished out of there. No, you have it. Like, no, you have it. Yeah, you have half. It's definitely good, but you have to dip it in the sriracha. Otherwise, it's just it's like a... I like salty mac and cheese. So that's why I'm probably Who's thinking it needs salt. salty mac and cheese? I have. No way. When I make it. It's really good. You never even make mac and cheese. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> We've been drinking in line. <laughs> We've been drinking in line. I'm gonna try the vegetarian dish because I'm not sure how I'm gonna okay. like it. So I'm gonna try. We're gonna get the samosas well, with the is boysenberry it, is it supposed chutney. To be dessert? What's in there? I don't know. It has a boysenberry chutney. Is it like? No, no. You got to dip it in the boysenberry chutney. Mm. See the chutney? The chutney. Mmm. That's good. Is that potatoes? Pretty good. Potatoes and what's that? What's that? That's a good flavor. Herb, what's that herb in there? Uh -uh. That's a good flavor. This is good. You try it with the chutney. You gotta try it with. Okay, I'm gonna dip mine is in the chutney. Is it comino or cinnamon or what is that? I don't know, but you gotta try it with the chutney. This is delicious, you guys. I wasn't gonna get this. This is delicious. Oh, oh man. Maybe we should have saved that for the end. This is my favorite thing of the whole entire thing now. Oh yeah. Over the chili. I think this beats the chili for sure. This you know why? It is uh, delicious. I'm gonna tell you guys why. It's because it's something different. It has a different flavor Those that you would not expect to get here at Knott's Berry Farm. It really is. It's something different. Like they went out of their way to give us something different. I don't different. know if it's cinnamon. What is that? It's, is it, it's not curry. What is that? It's deliciousness in my mouth is what it is. Trying not to rush through this, you guys, but- We're starving. But we're freaking starving, people. We just waited- Freaking starving. Wait, what time is it right now? I'm gonna tell you how long we waited in line. We waited in line an hour to get that food. Next, we're going to the boysenberry, uh, bar the pulled pork sliders. Oh yeah, oh, are these like a Hawaiian buns? Oh, I love, I love me some Hawaiian buns. Is this a biscuit or a Hawaiian bun? It looks, it's it like, looks a like a Hawaiian bun. It looks like a Hawaiian bun to me. Mmm, I think it's something crunchy. Oh. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's good. I think that's better than the last thing I just had. That's so good. Bing! This is delicious. That's so freaking good. No, it's it's And this isn't a, this isn't just being hungry good. This is good. The flavor is on point. You can taste the savoriness mm. of the pork. Oh. Oh. Right, you can taste the savoriness mm. of the pork, but you can taste the sweetness of the boysenberry. And the, the little Hawaiian bun, it's just so soft and just like, oh, so good. I thought Sutter's Grill was gonna be a disappointment, and so far it has not failed us. I have to say, that's my favorite. The second is the samosas. Is that what they're called, samosas? This is so good. And then the third is my chili, so far, is the chili. Now finally, you guys, we are gonna get to the wings. Well, I'm gonna get to a wing while she's finishing that off, because I already finished mine off. I mean, it's hard to mess up a wing, so I'm going with this boysenberry wing. I think, I think this is the one. That was so good. I would, no, 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 you have to eat it, because I have to eat the wing. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. We need to eat this first, huh? No, during the boysenberry festival, they grilled these on a grill in front of you. Like, they were pre-cooked, 
and then they threw them on the grill so you get that real smoke flavor. These were not grilled though. These were not grilled on a grill. These were like fried and then put in the sauce. So they're good, but they're not like, they're not like the ones from the Boysenberry Festival. I can, I can say that. But definitely, so far, Sutter's Grill mm. is the best food of the event so far. This is really good, you guys. Let me just tell you what we were kind of talking about earlier and like, what, why she's saying for to come get this first. The line was an hour long longer than any line I've ever waited for for food. The food is delicious. I just don't think they have the efficiency part down of preparing it and preparing it for the masses. And, and Knott's Berry Farm's kind of known for that. When we come, we know that their food service is a little slower, but when you have an event like this, it needs to be a little bit faster. You have a six hour event and you don't want to spend five hours in line for the six hour event. Well, Josh and I are logistics people, so we kind of like skip ahead and look at what they're doing. It could be faster. Now, do you think that they needed more booths open for the amount of people that they let in? Yes. Well, here's what happens is there's not enough going on to keep people out of line. And so you have seven or eight booths and that's it. And a few of those are just dessert. Like one of them is just a churro. And that's it, one churro. So that line's not that bad. But this line has four food options and one drink option. So yeah, so maybe if they did two food options here and two food options somewhere else, maybe then you I, wouldn't have such a long line. I, I thought that they probably needed more booths open for the amount of people that they're letting in. And now it's not crowded by any means. Please understand me when I say no, that. No, no. Everyone's in line. That's why there's nobody wandering it, around. It's, it's, it feels safe. People are wearing their masks. They have. Um, employees, because I don't think you're called cast members here, monitoring the lines. If you're not wearing your mask properly, the employee kindly comes up and says, can you please put the mask above your nose or you have to wear the mask. If you're drinking or eating in line, they tell you, no, I'm sorry, you can't eat or drink in line. So you need to be in line with your mask on. So it's, it, I feel completely safe here. Mm -hmm. But the fact remains that the lines for the food are long. We are coming back next week. Mm -hmm. It is a good time. The music's good, you know, they oh. have the cowboys. Well, that's, that's the problem is, I felt we could have spent a lot of time having a few beers over at the DJ, but we haven't been able to because we've been in line yeah, for a long the, time. The atmosphere is good where you can really sit back and relax and enjoy it. But I think this is, in concept, this is a great idea, the taste of calico. I have two, four, six or eight, five each. Five drinks each, not even buzz, because that weight line is... It kills it, it kills it. It kills it, like you're like, yeah, party on, guys, party on, like, wait. You're trying and to get the party like, started, but then it doesn't start. Like, it's I like, think, you're trying to get the pre-party going, but you can never make it to the party. And I think we only, I think we had more drinks than we would normally drink. Oh yeah, for 25 um, bucks, it's totally worth it. Now obviously we spent more than that because we got drinks and stuff. We are on our last dish. It is 9.30 and let's, we got the gumbo. We got it's the- so nice out here, you guys. It, it is, is It is very nice out. It's beautiful. The breeze feels so good. Okay, but I need to eat my gumbo. I'm so full. I need to eat my gumbo. <laughs> the rice is not cooked. Oh really, that sucks. Sorry guys, I like gumbo, but what do you Not think? cooked. Not cooked, right? And I almost think it's like a wild rice. Yeah. It's a wild rice, but it's not cooked all the way through. No. So it's a little hard, but the flavor's good. Well, this gumbo has crunchy rice. That's what it was meant for, because we're out in the outback western wild crunchy rice. No, it's, it's yeah. um, and the flavor is meh, not, meh, meh. It's definitely not a Disneyland so, gumbo. So not the way I wanted to end my night was, I was kind of looking forward to this. I was thinking- Where's the shrimp? The gumbo's, the flavor's okay, but the rice just kills it. As soon Where's as you put shrimp? it in, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rice is not cooked. Therefore, you can't judge it. Nope. All right, guys. So mm. that concludes our night. I want to give you just a couple things really quick here. Um, One, the, do you recommend it? Yes, totally recommend coming. Taste of Calico was a success. Oops. I got to get the camera shadow out of my face. Taste of Calico was a success. It was delicious. The food, food was delicious. The drinks were delicious. Uh, they had great entertainment on top of the buildings with cowboys and the mayor, music and they were awesome. funny. They had a great section where they had a DJ playing country music all night. 
So that was fun. Too bad uh, a lot of people didn't partake in that. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you why is the food lines were too long, you guys. And you buy a lanyard for $25, so you have to use all five items. Use it or lose it, people. Use it or lose yeah, it. Yeah, so you have to wait in the line. So here's was my recommendation that I told Becky. Oh, they're making an announcement, but that's okay. We're gonna talk over them. Here's what I told Becky is that what we should have did was we split up early. So we go, she goes to one line, I go to one line, and at least that early on, the lines weren't that long. But once you got later in the evening, the lines were anywhere from a half hour to an hour long. The last line we waited in was actually very short because they weren't serving alcohol anymore, but the line before that was an hour long, and the one before that was well, 45 minutes long. Well, and the thing that I told Josh is that if you come to an event like this, you shouldn't have to split up. Yeah, it's a because, family event, because right? Because it's a family event and you want to enjoy yeah. the event together. Yeah. So you shouldn't have to split up. But I will say, these are different times right now. Everything's yeah. an experiment. Would we call it a success? Yes, absolutely. We are coming back next week. Yes, um, yes. It is completely fun. The yeah. food was completely, it was delicious except for our last dish we could, was unedible. The, uh, yeah, the um, the gumbo, the rice wasn't cooked, so it wasn't unfortunately. Edible, so we couldn't eat it because the rice wasn't cooked. But I, I'm going to tell cooking. you this, out of 10 dishes, we had one that was not good. Everything was Everything delicious. Everything else was great. Um, I think knowing what we know now, when we come back next week, we'll be better equipped oh, yeah. to enjoy um, what Knott's Berry Farm has to offer Definitely. on a different level. I do recommend it. Yeah. Um, and I, I hope that, I hope, you know, it goes next weekend and then it's over, but I hope that they extend it or maybe they bring it out in another month or so because it does look like it was a success. This weekend has sold out completely. It was very enjoyable. And yeah. I will have to say, we didn't get to go in any of the shops or look at anything, but Josh and I bought two lanyards. Yeah. Which some people buy one lanyard and they share. Well, you have to buy one per person. You can't share. Oh, that's right, because you can't and get it's in. It's 25 per person, yeah. five five tabs, and that's it. Yeah, so, so, so yeah. yeah. But, you but know, it was worth it was worth the money. Don't get me wrong. It's only five dollars a dish, so that's totally reasonable for a, a theme park. We highly recommend it. We yeah. we enjoyed ourselves immensely. Yeah. Other than the lines, of course, we want okay. to wait in lines, but well, very so, fun. Yeah, so good overall. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time.